people trying to get a five-finger discount at stores like Nordstrom's or Target got slapped with handcuffs instead. They were caught in the Seattle Police Department's retail theft operation to crack down on shoplifting. These are organized groups that, that hit retailers with the sole purpose of, of stealing to either resell them or use them as currency for other things. 53 people were arrested in one day at these nine stores during a big citywide bust. 16 of them are now in jail. Four had warrants. 16 arrests, 30 were charged by officer. Sergeant Randy Huserick says large retailers and grocery stores have been losing thousands of dollars in merchandise, some of them still struggling to recover from the pandemic. Not only does that impact the store itself with their losses and their bottom line, but the everyday people who walk into those stores that are buying things from those stores because of the losses those stores are sustaining, they have to raise their prices and then that impacts everybody. Thieves are swiping high value items in bulk from blenders to power tools. Some people try to smuggle their haul through an emergency exit, which Huserick says is a felony. Most are brazen enough to walk out the same way they came in. Now, oftentimes it's as simple as that. They'll just load up a shopping cart, walk out the door, you know, walk past the points to sale and walk out the front door with it to an awaiting car, throw everything in the car and take off. Four people were arrested on 3rd and Pine for trafficking stolen merchandise. While most items were recovered and returned in this bust, Huserick says their undercover and uniformed officers are still watching out for sticky fingers. We're out there, you know, and we're, we're going to continue to run these operations and, uh, and continue to go after the folks that are continuing to commit these crimes. Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.